help. Oh, it's still got dry shampoo in my hair. Good start, Lauren, good start. <sighs> Hello everyone, welcome back to another vlog. This is kind of going to be a new little series that we're going to do on this channel. We obviously realise, please ignore that dry shampoo in my hair, I'll sort it before I go out, I promise. We might as well make the most of what's around us and even after lockdown lifts, like we doubt we're going to get out of Scotland anytime soon. So we're going to do a little Explore in Scotland series. Today we're going to be going up to Tensmere Forest which is just outside St Andrews and we're going to be trying some amazing food and I'm so excited. I've saved my calories for this. I'll probably have to save my calories for the next week for this as well but it's going to be so worth it. And the first stop, you guessed it, the same whenever we go up there, Fisher and Donaldson Bakery. I really hope to have a strawberry danish because I need that for my breakfast and a coffee. Good. Shock horror, half an hour later, he's still not ready. But I'm in the car, got the cool bag with some juice. And yeah, I'm about to set off. It's freezing! Got the heated seats on. Got the heated seats on. <laughs> Made it to Fisher and Donaldson. Caramel latte and. Oh yeah! Okay, so we've made it to St Andrews, it's very windy, it's very cold, but we've come to the cheesy toast shack, so I've got a toast set and Stephen's got a hot dog with some onions, I think, I said onions, it should be underneath, but I got red Leicester and chorizo, oh it's got rock on it too. <gasps> Holy hell. Wow. Right, taste test. Oh my god, it's so good. I didn't even get any treats with that bite, but it was so good. Here's a better look at what it looks like. Chorizo, rocket, and cheese. I think I need some juice. Okay, so finally got it off my face. That was so good. If you're ever in St Andrews, I would definitely recommend going there. I'll put um, their Instagram in the description. So go have a look at that because some of the pictures. Oh. Their famous one is the mac and cheese, but I didn't get that because I'm not really a macaroni fan, but it does look amazing. So I'll put that in there if you want to have a look, if you're nosy, like me. Um, we're finished in St Andrews. We're not going in St Andrews, are we? No, I've just gone up to Tedsmere. So we're going to drive to the forest car park and then we're going to get some more food <laughs> it's just as I told you earlier it was a day of eating and that's what it's going to be so we'll pick up with you when we get there to Tensmere it's not far so we're here <laughs> and I think the beach is over that way but we're going to go to the crepe shack for more food because that's exactly what we need Again, I'll link their Instagram down below because some of them look amazing. So that's it over there. That's big car park. It's pretty empty, not many people. So maybe it'll be a quiet walk. Oh my God, those crepes were amazing. They do sweet crepes and obviously, and they do savoury as well. So there was a treat so one. And I was like, hmm, maybe I should get that after I have my chorizo toasty. I like chorizo, if you didn't know. And what else? They had the pesto one, and they had a Biscoff one. Biscoff's quite a trend these days. I'm not really into it, but I just had sugar and lemon and steamed and Nutella. And they were good, they were £4 each. A little bit expensive, but we're on holiday. It's our treat. <laughs> 
you're not worth less than perfection so I've just found this little bit that holds leaflets and this is basically where we are so there's the car park and we're going to go right up to the top and then back I don't know if we're going to go all the way around or what but we'll see so here is the big map and we're going to do the ice house trail which is the red dots that takes us up to this ice house. Oh, there's the World War Two point, lookout point. But I think when we get to here, we're going to walk up to the top and then we'll probably just come back down that way. Because this is six kilometers. That's like, what, maybe on our mile? So we'll see, we'll see how it goes. Definitely going to get the 10,000 steps in today anyway. So this is the start of the trail and we think it goes out to the beach eventually. We're not really sure. There's a lot of paths, but we think we're on the right one. Maybe. We've had to deviate from the main path because it's all flooded. So we're walking through the middle of trees and Stephen tells me there's a beach ape. So basically Bigfoot's in these woods. And now every time I hear a twig crack, I shit my pants. And anyone who knows me knows I'm terrified of this kind of thing. Oh, here I am, going through trees. <sighs> what are we now? So now we're Sasquatch hunting, looking for nests. I hope we'll come out to the beach soon because I don't like it. Ooh. Okay, I think, I think we're coming out to the beach now. We're out in the trees a bit more. <laughs> it's not the beach. <laughs> well, that's not a beach. We're miles away from the beach. Is the beach shape real? Is it real? Stephen, don't- Oh my god, there's a big dog. Oh, it was an ape. <laughs> Fucking hell, I'm a shape rug. So we came back into the woods. We're not sure if this is the right path or not, but we're just going to get lost and see what happens. Hey. Just trees, trees. Trees everywhere. This is very Harry Potter, Forest Dean style. So I googled it. There's no beach ape. Steven says there is. But we just found this scary little structure. It's maybe a hideout spot for it. What is that, Steven? Dare you go in? How do you know? Spooky. And lots of water. So we're just gonna go to the Oh Jesus Christ! <laughs> I fell on my face there. We're just gonna go down here. What's that say? Oh right, okay, we're on the right track. That makes me feel a bit better. And we're out of the woods now. <laughs> Literally be walking for miles. We're just in the middle of nowhere. All I can think is the further we walk, the further we need to walk back. Oh god, we're coming up to a World War II lookout point. That's that up there. So we've made it to the lookout point, which looks out over the water, which is very far out right now. But I'm guessing it comes in to there ish. Yeah. And then, I think that's the ice house over there. So we've just found this little railway cart and this tells you all about it during the war. Very cool. So 
It's just a little information centre, I think. It's got all these boards. All about Tentsmere. There's like the stuff about the war. Hmm. We keep hearing <laughs> gunshots. Which we're hoping is coming from Lukers, which is an army base, and hope no one's like shooting at us. Nothing about a beach ape, Stephen. There's no information on that. Alright, let's keep going. So that wasn't the ice house. We've still not found that. Oh, there it is, I think. Let's see what this thing says. But there's, an, there's a gate that we need to go through. It's like a Highland Coo structure. Just a random coo in the trees. Apparently there's actual real cows grazing on this land and I'm hoping we don't come across any. So that's where we are and that's where Lookers is, which is army now, it's not RAF anymore, but I'm guessing that is where the gunshots are coming from, hopefully. So we are there, we're nearly at the top and then we'll be going back down to the bottom. This is the ice house, I'm just going to see what the information thing says about it. It used to be filled with ice, given in the name. Oh, it was built in 1852 to store ice gathered from local ponds in winter. Ice was used to preserve the fish before shipping it south. So it's built here because this red line used to be the old coastline but now the coast is a way out so it's not actually near the coast anymore so it'd be pretty pointless now but 200 years ago would have been a lot and there you can't go in obviously it would probably fall on your head but can you see through that you go look i'm scared so it's like smaller there oh my god he's actually shining the light in it imagine there was a person in it like that Chernobyl film. And then it's huge at that side. And there's another window there. Why would there be windows though? Surely windows would let heat in. It's all cracked. Okay, so we've made it to the top part. No, we're not at the top, are we? Are we going to the top? No. I think it's just sand anyway, tide's too far out, tide's too far out so we're not going to bother going, we're not going to bother going to the viewpoint because all you'll see is sand. So I think we're at the point in the path where we head back down the way, through the woods again, Sasquatch area, down that way. I hope this path is clearer than the way up and we won't have to go through the trees because it was flooded on the way up. But there's lots of picnic benches. This would be quite a nice view area if we had a picnic. As if we need any more food. This looks like a much better road back. Yeah. It's very quiet. We've only seen literally two other people. I thought it was gonna be quite busy, but apparently not. Game trails. <laughs> if you've never seen Expedition Bigfoot, then you need to go watch it and then you'll understand what we're taking the piss out of. But we're nearly back at the car park, I think. A bit windswept. So we're back in the car. I'm at ten and a half thousand steps. So yeah. So that's us walked around Tentsmere and to be honest, we're not very impressed. I thought it was going to be a lot better, but 
We didn't see much, to be honest. We thought we'd see some seals, didn't see any seals. Thought we'd see some red squirrels, didn't see any red squirrels. Thought we'd see deer, didn't see any deer. Well, you saw a deer, but not here. So we didn't see anything. And yeah, but it was a nice wee walk and walking over the sand dunes was all right as well. But now we're going to go a little drive around the coast and of course stop in Antra there for a little chippy before heading home. So more food to look forward to. Yay. Luckily we've done lots of steps so that'll help burn off the food but I still think I'll need to use the rest of my calories for this week to be honest. What would you give Tense Muir out of 10 Stephen? Not 10 max. Why? Because. A 7? Nothing. Nothing? Not 10. <laughs> 7. I wouldn't even give it a 7. Maybe like 5. It was alright. I think maybe in summer it would be better. change of plan. We've just got to Anstruther and we were thinking oh it's, oh it's very quiet, it's not like Anstruther to be this quiet. All the chippies are closed. They're all closed. Damn you. So I don't know what we're going to do now, we're just having a little seat and a little relax and then I think we're just going to head home to be honest. But that's that. So we're home, it's a little later now and to be honest I thought I had filmed a little outro but I've not, it's actually 11 minutes past 11 at night. So we didn't get our Anstruther chippy which to be honest is probably a good thing because we'd been eating all day and we didn't really need it. The only reason we were going to get it is because we were up there anyway. So we just came home instead and watched some 911 on Disney Plus. So as I say we had a good day out in St Andrews and Tensmuir Forest and Tensmuir Beach but it wasn't as exciting as I thought it was going to be. I think we might go in summer one day when it's a nice day and maybe it'll be a bit better then but it was a nice walk and it definitely got the steps in. I'm up at 11 and a half thousand. I've literally sat on my bum since we got home so that's all from walking around the forest. And that's all for today's vlog, so thanks for coming along with us. I don't know how often these vlogs are going to be around Scotland, um, hopefully as much as we can when we can get out and more when lockdown lifts a little bit more. But that's it for today's video, so I'll see you in the next one. Bye!